Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground, and that's uh, Eretz, that, that word for earth. He had formed out of the earth all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air. Now skip forward where God is talking to Noah and says, you are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, Nefesh again, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, now this is after the flood. Now, you're wondering, why are we even talking about the flood? Well, you're going to see. I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you. God establishes a covenant, arguably an eternal covenant of such a nature that it is highly special and indicates a great amount of love on the part of God for those included in the covenant and a great promise to those included in the covenant and a great long-range purpose for those included in the covenant. With every living creature that was with you, in case we don't remember who those were, the birds, the livestock, those would be domestic animals, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. All means all, and every means every. God is making a covenant with them. And God, first of all, he preserved them in the first place. Now, did God say, take trees and flowers onto the ark? No, I mean, they grew up again. But he has special concern for who went on the ark, and it wasn't just people. 